Okay. Good morning, everyone. Today we gonna learn chapter two, diversity in organizations. Learning objective of this chapter. So I hope you can. You, I hope you can explain the two major forms of workplace diversity. Demonstrate how workplace disc discrimination and undermines organizational effectiveness. Explain how the key biological characteristics are relevant to OB. Explain how other differentiating characteristics factor into OB. Demonstrate the relevance of intellectual and physical abilities to OB. And the last one, explain how organizations manage diversity effectively. Okay, guys, for the next one, look at the levels of diversity. Okay, guys, for diversity, we are each of us unique. This is obvious enough, but managers sometimes forget they need to recognize and capitalize on individual references to get the most from their uh, employees. For this chapter, for this topic, we will learn how individual characteristics like age, gender, race, ethnicity, and abilities can influence employees' performance. We will also see how managers can develop awareness about these characteristics and manage a diverse workforce effectively. But first, let's take an overview perspective of the changing workplace our uh, workforce for the first one demographics characteristics age race gender religions mostly live surface level diversity not trust and failing and can lead employees to perceive one another through stereotypes and assumptions um, about this the predominantly white male managerial work workforce of the past has given mm. 